All right, so oftentimes we take pictures of places, of people, or even product, and we somehow fail telling the story of this particular subject. So in today's video, I want to discuss about how to tell better stories with your photography. And if you're new to this channel, I release every week Fujifilm photography and videography related content. So if you want to see more of that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. All right, so before we can pretend to tell a story, we need to understand what is a story. So this is quite obvious and a simplified concept, but a story is basically a subject within a context who is trying to achieve some actions. So this simplified concept is really important because it gives us the key elements that need to be present in our pictures to be able to tell the story. Having a clear subject, a context and an action within our photography will make for the key elements to establish our story. And of course, I'm not saying that you cannot tell a story if all those elements are not present. For example, you can take a story with just a portrait of a subject within the context without action, or even a landscape photography can tell a whole story. But I'm just saying that you should focus on those elements because they are the key elements that establish a story. So oftentimes, as soon as we see something, a subject, a product or a person, we want to photograph them, right? But it's really important to take the time to understand exactly what that particular subject is about before even turning the camera on. So make sure that you take the time to talk to that person that you're going to photograph or maybe also scout the location that you're trying to shoot because this can go a long way into establishing the correct story and finding the right elements to include within your composition to tell the right story. All right, so sometimes it can be really difficult to include context, a subject, and action with one single shot. So my next point would be not to limit yourself to one single shot. I think it's okay to have several shots working with each other and complementing each other instead of having one okay shot where you try to scramble everything in. And of course, I'm not telling you to take 10 times the same shot. What I'm trying to say is that you should be able to take different shots that focus on different aspects of your story to give a global picture to your viewer. You can think of every single image that you take as a page of a book. Each page gives you different details and all together they form the entire story. So in the same way that you use language to tell a story or to describe your opinion or emotion, whenever you want to tell a story through photography, you need visual language. So what do I mean by visual language? So let me know in the comments if you want me to make uh, more videos about this topic. But basically, visual languages are things like contrast to emphasize the difference between one part and the other of the composition through a dark and light part. Leading lines to lead the eyes of your viewer from one part to the other of your composition. Hierarchy to emphasize one part of your composition compared to the other based on, for example, its size or its placement in your composition and also scale where you will emphasize on the difference of size or height of one element of your composition compared to the other. So there are many more nuances of visual language and like any other language it takes time to master it but once you master visual language you will be able to tell stories. All right, and finally one warning that I would have for you when it comes to storytelling is to not overdo it. Do not show every single thing that's around your subject or every single aspect of the context. You need to leave part of it to the imagination of the person who is viewing your picture. By leaving some part of it to their imagination, you basically allow them to have an interpretation of your work and that interpretation is basically what becomes unique about your work and create this relation between your work and that person. If you give them every single detail, every single angle of your subject, you will basically drown them into too much information and you might just lose them in the process. So give to your viewer enough information for them to understand the story, but leave some of it to their imagination. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna know more about what gear I use to tell the stories that I want to tell through photography, make sure to check this video right here where I describe the gear that I use in 2022. See you there.